Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Before we get like on with anything, I have quickly got to say I'm sorry for the last video. I realised when people start commenting, I forgot to show you guys how to enchant. So I had to use the dot enchant command, I'm sorry for that. But that's why we have this video, just for the dot enchant command. So if you enjoy this video, only if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like so I know to do more. And if you have anything that you would like me to showcase or show you how to do, just leave it in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to do what I didn't do in the other video and show you me exactly opening up the Horion injector file. So if I bring this over to this screen, all I did before was open up Horion injector.exe. And uh, once I opened it, it comes up with the alert. You just confirm it and it will bring you up with uh, the Horion injector. And uh, once this is open, you, all you do is click inject. And as you'll see, it says success. And you'll have all of the hacks enabled and everything. I'm not going to showcase you how to do all of that uh, in this video as there's no need. I showed it in the up previous video before. But let's take this off of my screen real quick. And I will make sure to leave a link to this list in the description. So if I drag this on screen right now. I have this uh, enchant list with everything on it. So what number you need. And this will make more sense when I actually start the video. And like start showing you how to enchant. So this will be left in the description if you want to download it. But if not, if I drag it over here. So you guys can see it on the side. There you go, uh, that, that's everything, if you want to take a picture of it, go ahead, but it will be in the description, and yeah, alright, so now let's go and load into a world, we'll just go into the um, test and hack world that we had from before, and we'll uh, get straight into how to enchant stuff. Alright, so as you can see right now, we have uh, loaded in, let me connect my controller, as you see, it's now connected. So this is the world that was in before and uh, yeah all we need to do is y you can do this with any block in the game which is cool because unlike an anvil or the slash enchant command you're not able to do it with any block but say if I have this grass block here and I want to give it like sharpness what I do is type what watch this in the corner so you type full stop which is the dot and then type enchant and then if you go and look at the enchantment list that I left in the description, you'll see that sharpness is number 9. So if you put number 9, you're able to go up to a maximum of uh, 32,767. And if you confirm that, as you see, this is enchanted. But note that if you try and use this, it will not work. Like it says sharpness 32,000, but say if I pick it up, oh, it's gone. And now you don't have it. So... If you want to fix this issue, if we just enchant it again, uh, what you need to do is, if you remember from the previous video, pack it. So no pack it, you need to make sure that's turned on, so you can press 7 if you have a num uh, key, but if you don't, open up the hack and go down to um, no pack it here and uh, click, click on it. And once that's uh, clicked on, you want to open up your inventory, you want to grab the grass block, or whatever block you're enchanting put it in your crafting table click on no pack it again and then now you can grab the grass block you want to put it back where you got it from and it's going to give you another one in your hand you want to just leave the inventory and uh, there you go you now have a sharpness 32,767 grass block which is pretty cool but now if we um if we go and get rid of all of this so i don't know what i'm grabbing if we just get rid of that all if we want to do it on something that, you know, is more, you know, what you'd be using. So if we go grab like a diamond sword and uh, go put this in our inventory and we want to enchant it with sharpness. And we want to enchant with fire aspect. So fire aspect is, where is it? It's number 13. So 13 and you type that. As you can see now, we have two enchantments on it. And you know that the enchantments are real as the attack damage is changed to 40,000. Which isn't normal for a diamond sword. As you can see, a diamond sword is normally 7 attack damage, but this one is 40,000. So once again, we turn on no packet with the 7 key on your keyboard or with the uh, hack list over here. 
And um, once you've done that, you want to go in your inventory. You want to put it in the crafting table. Then you want to click on no packet again. And then once you click on no packet, put it back in your inventory where you got it from. And there you go. You have an enchanted one in your hand. And all you do is leave the crafting table or the inventory, I mean. And there you go. You now have the diamond sword to keep. And do whatever with you can give this to people do whatever you want everything that you get and make sure you actually have it you can keep it so it's very cool and uh, it does work so if I go and grab like old oh crap almost dropped my controller if I go get a wither so you'd get soul sand and you'd get that and then you want to go get a wither head if I actually got rid of uh, the soul sand part uh, I got that by mistake and uh, what we do is go and place these and uh, boom 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 as you can see we're spawning it in I remember this has uh, sharpness 32,767 so 40,000 attack damage and as you see once it's spawned in all you do is attack it once and there you go you fully killed it it might not say it in the bar at the top as the game doesn't like like load it in i had to say but you have killed it and there you go you got your never star you got your xp you got everything you need so yes very um useful and as you can see i have a cape on on my skin which i didn't have on the last um episode but if you guys would like to see how to get a cape uh make sure to let me know in the comments down below and i will make a video i when i opened this up i did just realize that they added an infinite block reach so if we go turn that up to 100 I'm, this is just a quick one that I'm going to show you because this is brand new as if you did watch the last one You would know that's not on there So if we enable it and now we go to break a block so it can be up from a hundred blocks away You can see that my cursor is going over it all the way up there so I can break it from all the way here I don't know why it doesn't break Oh, look there You can see that you're breaking from a lot further away than you would be able to in normal minecraft because if I look here So if I go here and break that block, I'm able to and if I go to this one and then go and turn off infinite block reach, look, you see, I can't even break it. But then uh, if I go and turn it back on, as you can see, I can break it now. So it's very helpful if you want to break blocks from a distance away. But without further ado, that was that. I have nothing else to show you and I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry once again for not showing the enchantments. But if I show you once more, remember dot enchant and then you look over at the list and type what you want so like i said sharpness or unbreaking unbreaking is 17 and then you type what level you want it to be so 32,767 is the max and as you see it's enchanted successfully but i have nothing in my hand so if i go get this with a skeleton skull and enchant it there you go you now have a unbreaking 32,767 with a skull make sure to do the no packet thing or you will not keep it so, hope you enjoyed, like I said multiple times, and that was that. I'll see you guys in the next video.